There is a potentially huge break tonight in the Boston Marathon bombings. The FBI finally broke its silence, announcing it is looking for two men. The agency provided video and photos, saying it believes the pair carried backpacks containing the bombs to the race site and dropped them off. It's the kind of information people have been craving since the two explosions ripped through the crowds at the finish line Monday. The CBC's David Common now. He's got more tonight from Boston. David. Peter, it is chilling to see these two men, men that the FBI now considers their main suspects, walking calmly onto the marathon route just in behind me shortly before the explosions. The FBI believes that on this man's shoulder is a bomb, which just 12 minutes after this video was recorded would explode. He is now considered a suspect by investigators, seen entering the area with this second man. He, too, is carrying a bag and is now also a suspect. We know the public will play a critical role in identifying and locating these individuals. The FBI says the man in the white cap left one bag in front of a restaurant along the race course. The bomb sent nails and other shrapnel flying killing three people and injuring 170 others. The key now is tracking who the men are, where they came from, and where they went. No bit of information, no matter how small or seemingly inconsequential, is too small for, for us to see. Each piece moves us forward towards justice. Mr. Delorier, are these the sole people of interest to in the FBI at this point in the investigation? At this time, these are the people of interest to the FBI. Oh, just hours before the suspects were publicly identified, the president spoke about the bombers at a memorial service. Yes, we will find you. And yes, you will face justice. But the president did not emphasize vengeance. He called on Boston to not be terrorized, invoking the 78-year-old marathoner Bill Ifrig seen here being knocked down in the blast. We may be momentarily knocked off our feet, but we'll pick ourselves up. We'll keep going. Videos are posted for the public. And so will the manhunt. Investigators have received thousands of tips in only 72 hours, but now await one key lead, the names of these men. But these men now probably know they're being hunted, and it's possible, Peter, they've already left the country. David, the FBI wants the public's help, but they uh, didn't release much video. Any indication that there's more? Well, the FBI have received hundreds of hours of video. They've even trucked in a special processing unit to go through all of that video. And as they get more and more submissions, Peter, they should be able to track backwards on where these suspects came from, and then, of course, where they went to. All right, David, thank you. David Common in Boston again for us tonight.